In first part, we have seen how to hack Windows Administrator account and countermeasure to it by adding syskey password. In this part, we will learn how to hack syskey password and countermeasure to it by adding BIOS password. Moving on the desktop, we need two software for hacking syskey password. One is offline password cracker and unit booting. We have downloaded unit booting in the last part. Now let's see how to download offline password cracker. Open your web browser. Then go to the web address that is pogostick.net. Here it is. Now here is a boot disk. Clicking on it, then going to the download part. Here is the download part. It is also available in bootable disk image and files of USB installation and the previous version of CD is also available here. I am downloading the bootable CD image. I am cancelling it because I have already downloaded it on my desktop. Now let's see how to crack syskey password. Opening the VMware workstation. We have given syskey password in the last part for countermeasuring the OPS crack and unit booting. Here is windows starting. I have given syskey password to this windows XP so no one can attack on my system by con boot and OPS crack. Now it will ask me the syskey. If I tries three times wrong it system will restart again. Now system is restarting. I will hack it by using offline password cracker. Now booting the CD offline password cracker. Use ISO image then browse. We will pick it up from the desktop. Offline password cracker open. Ok. This time also I have to change the BIOS setting to put CD-ROM as a first boot priority. Here I go. Now putting the CD-ROM as a first boot priority. Pressing the F10. In the real system you have to press delete button or the F2 button at the time of starting the system. Do the same setting there. Yes. Now here it is go. It started the offline password cracker. Then enter. Now it's doing its job. If you're doing it on the real machine, you just have to burn the CD and put in optical drive. Then put the BIOS boot priority to CD disk first. And it will start like this. And if you're booting from the pen drive, just plug in the pen drive and set boot priority to removable disk first and it will start like it now it is come on the menu it asks me for the select that is default one and one is represented by the dev slash sda1 which is my windows directory i'm pressing it now it is ask me for the path that registry directory and it is windows system config which contain the sam file now Pressing the enter again, yes. Then now it is ask me for the password reset SAM security or recover console parameter software and then quit option. I want to reset my syskey password, so I will go to first option and which is default to now just pressing enter. Now here's the option first to edit user data and password second is syskey status and change which i want to do now so pressing second key enter it asks me do you really wish to disable syskey and default answer is no now pressing y for yes it has done its job now if i want to the again some job to do that is edit user data and password from here I can change password of any user and clear it too but I just wanted to clear the syskey status still I will do 
clear the administrator password from here now pressing one then administrator user yes i want to use edit administrator user then here the option available for one clear user password second edit it i will clear the password first option go then it is done now it is asks me explanatory mark for cute i have done my job i break this key key and given the blank password to administrator now quitting q for exit about to write files back do it remember it at the last you had to say yes to write all files you can't enter here because the default option is no now i am pressing y for writing files and then enter now it will write all the files that is sam for changing the sys key and clearing the administrator password it asked me for running it again i say no because i have did my job now I rebooting it if you are doing your real system reboot and then hyphen f for rebooting it forcefully then remove your disk from here it will again start fast so i am turning off it from the vmware menu now removing the disk from iso image okay now i am turning on the windows xp now hopefully this time it will not ask me for the sys key now it is starting it didn't ask me for the sys key so i break it and i also cleared the administrator password and it directly entered into the system as administrator privileges now so we have cracked sys key using offline password cracker now let's see counter measure to it how to stop hacker to hack your sys key so i am turning off the windows now let's see how to stop attacker to hack your computer's sys key turning off it if you remember at the time of loading boot cd we are doing changes in the bios setting so it's one way to stop hacker to hack your sys key is to stop his access to the bios setting now let's see how to deny anyone's access to the bios setting let's move to the bios setting now vm then power then power on bios in real system you can do it by pressing delete or f2 key it depends on the computer you use then go to the bios setting like i'm going now here i go pressing control alert enter for full screen then going to main advanced security then pressing enter for giving password to the bios now giving password to bios enter changes have been saved now continue now change your boot priority first put your hard disk first then remove cd disk then remove all device so at the time of starting system will boot from the hard drive not cd rom cause from cd rom anyone can boot oph crack con boot or offline password cracker and from removable disk to hacker can boot the ops crack and other software so put your hard disk device first as a boot priority then save the changes now anyone can't be able to boot from anything like cd and removable disk without changing the bios setting now if i am trying to change the bios setting again let's try to change the bios setting for booting the opa offline password cracker okay 
now i will try to change bios setting to boot cd first from see for entering bios it asking me the password if i know it only i can enter the bios setting else i will not it says invalid password now putting the valid password i will able to enter in the system now exiting the system in this way we can crack this iski password and counter measure to it by putting bios password to it in the next part we will learn how to crack bios password and counter measure to it by giving physical security to the computer